Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. You caught me standing in front of this ivy laced wall, I guess you could call it, here in St. Cloud, Florida. Happy Monday to you. City Hall is now open for business officially after the weekend of relaxation. People are going in to pay their, either their electric bills to go and talk to the city council members, those in the local government. Things are back in the swing of things here on this Monday in downtown St. Cloud. It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. And did I also mention Adam the Woo here? Welcome, everyone. Adam the Woo here. I've got a lot on my mind today because I need to get this vlog uploaded sometime in the very, very near future because I'm actually heading down to Yeehaw Junction. I'm going to be staying in a little motel there that's got a lot of history overnight tonight. It's not exactly an A-list hotel in any way, shape, or form. You probably can't even find it on Hotels.com or Yelp or any of those. It looks like something out of Norman Bates' Psycho. So that should be fun. I'm going to be camping out there tonight. I'll be posting pictures on Instagram and Twitter and maybe Facebook. The Daily Woo on Facebook slash The Daily Woo or Adam the Woo on Twitter or Instagram Adam the Woo. If you want to find out where I'm at, maybe if you're in the area, you can swing by and say hello and we can hang out. I'll be there all day later today filming and whatnot. But first, I want to do this vlog and get it uploaded because at the hotel I'm going to be staying at, I call it a hotel, really it's just a one level motel. They will have no Wi-Fi, so I need to get this vlog uploaded before I head down there into the nether regions of nowhereness in Central Florida to that fantastic place. But first I wanted to show you something else fantastic. Check this out. If you'll notice, this right here, this building right here has been a series of different things. A lot of them have been Irish bars. I believe it was called O'Doherty's. Before that it was called something else and before that it was called something else. I do not drink, so very rarely do I frequent bars unless I'm playing in a band and we're playing in bars. No band I've ever been in has ever actually played in that former bar, but I do know that that was O'Doherty's because they used to hang out with some friends in there. They used to have like a little pool hall in the back. The thing that's cool about that, that was built in 1914 and actually there was a hardware store that was on the other side of the St. Cloud Hotel that was the first hardware store ever in Florida called Makinson's Hardware and they moved into that building in 1914 and now they're up in Kissimmee but it's the very first official hardware store ever created in Florida and it used to reside in that building right there but it's not there anymore they moved up to Kissimmee and if you think that's exciting let me show you something even more exciting than that. Let's do the swoosh from hardware to to bank robberies. You ever heard of John Dillinger, the famous bank robber? Well, the story is told, even though it's never been 100% confirmed, there are a lot of local legends, historians that have passed on this story, that right here, at what once was the citizens Bank of St. Cloud. This is one of the original buildings built in 1910, 1911, 1912-ish. That used to be called Citizens Bank. They've actually changed the name to People's Bank. You can see the little awning up there. And there used to actually be a clock that was right there on the corner of the building. I just bumped into the American flag there. I had to swoosh it out of the way to show you where the clock once was. And I think I'm not sure on this. Don't quote me on this. But there's actually a clock right up here. And part of me thinks that that clock that's mounted on this police substation used to actually be mounted on the side of the People's Bank, the former Citizens Bank, in 1934 or 1935. I can't remember the exact year. Rumor has it, legend has it, that the famous John Dillinger, one of the most famous bank robbers in existence, robbed this bank. Just imagine that. John Dillinger and two other guys, they said there were three guys, robbed the bank, and when they left, John Dillinger supposedly leaned over to the teller and said, tell him John Dillinger. Sent ya? No, tell him John Dillinger robbed this bank. Tell him Large Marge sent ya. That's not what happened. And maybe John Dillinger never said that either, but you know how local folklore is started? Urban legends are created. 
But the building's still here, People's Bank. And there's really not a lot of people that I know in St. Cloud, a lot of my friends, former acquaintances, even know of the legend of John Dillinger right here. The former Citizens Bank, built in 1910, 1911-ish, right next to the former Makinson's Hardware, the very first hardware store in Florida. Well, that's a really cool legend I wanted to share with you, a little tidbit of St. Cloud history. I'm still working on an eventual documentary about the entire existence of downtown St. Cloud. Look at this place. Pretty awesome. I'm sure I will add this little bit of information into that documentary. Whenever that happens, of course, I'm flying out to California on Thursday. I'll be out there for 18 days. Maybe I will get started on an adventure video for my Adam the Woo channel about the history of downtown St. Cloud around that time. But for now, here's a nugget, a little tidbit sample of the bank that, yes, maybe possibly that John Dillinger robbed. John Dillinger could have ran right past this pole. John Dillinger could have leaned up against this wall. John Dillinger could have maybe possibly planted or screwed in this flag holder into the side of the wall. It looks like they're actually renovating this. It's actually been quite a few, quite a few different things over the years. The last thing this actually was, was a, some kind of a card shop where they played games. A lot of kids would hang out here late into the night, board games, kind of a big nerd fest, which is really cool to see a lot of the St. Cloud youth out here in front of the former bank. Before that, there was a coffee shop and a bar. It's been a bunch of different things. I don't know, there's a guy in there working now. No telling what the next thing he will be creating. Maybe he's creating an homage, a museum to John Dillinger, if you will. What do you guys think about urban legends, stories, that when someone says something, it becomes something else, it becomes something else, it becomes something else. I could tell you something right now that has no factual evidence, and there is a good portion of you that will actually believe that, will tell your friends, tell another friend, tell another friend, and then that story that was never true to begin with ends up taking a life of its own and becomes factual. Now with the internet, it's definitely more prevalent than ever before. So you really, never really know what you're hearing is true, but let's do some research on this John Dillinger article right here, People's Bank, used to be Citizens Bank, on the corner of New York Avenue and 10th Street in St. Cloud, Florida. And see if what I'm telling you is true. Help me out here. Let's do some vicarious research. I'm gonna upload this now. Head down to Yeehaw Junction. If you're in the area, stop by and say hello. If you wanna know exactly where I'll be, check out Instagram, Adam the Woo, and of course, Twitter, Adam the Woo, and then Facebook, backslash, the Daily Woo, would I leave you with one last look of John Dillinger history. Hypothetically, supposedly, maybe? Have a great day. See ya.